What's the right way to think about this? I think if we just consider broccoli first, before we deal with the tennis ball, isolate broccoli, forces on broccoli, mg down, or m broccoli, mb, g, okay? And we'll take, uh, that's in the negative y direction. So y is positive this way, and so the equation of motion I get is minus m broccoli g is equal to m broccoli y double dot. So m broccoli is sort of irrelevant, but that's it's okay. So y double dot, maybe for broccoli, is equal to minus g. Now, how about the tennis ball? So the tennis ball gets launched with some velocity that way. If I isolate the tennis ball, it's the same. I just have gravity, mg. And I'm going to use the same positive direction up for my coordinate, so I get minus mg is equal to my double dot, or y double dot is equal to minus g. But in this case, I also have a launch velocity in the x direction, so I might want to project in the x direction, in which case I get the sum of the forces in the x direction is zero is equal to m x double dot. So x double dot is zero. Yeah? Oh yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I'm supposed to remember to turn that off. <laughs> That's why I have students. Very good. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is integrate to find the trajectory that's followed by the tennis ball to see if when it arrives at the distance it has to travel. So maybe I'll label the initial height of broccoli is h and maybe I'll label w, the initial distance away from the launch point, okay? And so when x gets to be w, I need to know where is broccoli and where is the tennis ball. If they're in the same place, then they will collide. So I have x double dot is zero. That means the acceleration in the x is zero. I integrate. And that's just some constant, which is the initial x velocity. So let me call that vx naught. I can integrate again. And the integral of the velocity gives me the position. So I get uh, v naught, vx naught t. plus whatever initial position it had. Well, I'm going to measure my x position from this point. So initial position at time 0 is 0. So I think that gives me the position x for the tennis ball. All right, looks like I better recolonize over here. Now let me integrate to find the y trajectory for the tennis ball. We start with y double dot is equal to minus g. So I integrate with respect to time, and I get 
y dot, that is the velocity is equal to minus g t plus whatever initial velocity I had, right? And what is that? This is for the tennis ball, so it's v y naught. I integrate again with respect to time, and I get y is equal to minus g t squared over 2 plus v y naught t plus whatever y position the ball had at time t equals 0. What is that? That's where we're, we're measuring from. We're measuring from here, and so that's where the tennis ball leaves at time zero, so I got zero. Okay. So this is for the tennis ball. What do I get for broccoli? So broccoli has acceleration y double dot b is equal to minus g. Humor me, what's the initial velocity of broccoli? Zero. So we're going to jump straight to y is equal to h minus one half g t squared, unless they're screened. Okay, uniform acceleration with g, integrate twice, the initial position is h, there's no v, y, naught term. Okay, so the question is, does this equal that at the time corresponding to when the tennis ball has covered a horizontal distance w? So I want to plug in, well I have to solve for that time. Okay, t final, I can get by saying that, where did it go? Oh yeah, this is, I'm, it's over here. I'm getting all confused because, all right. So vx naught t, so when vx naught t final should be equal to the x final, which is w, the distance all the way across. So that says that t final should be w over vx naught. I can then substitute that into the equation here to get y at t final. y at t final will be minus g t final squared over 2 plus v y naught times t final w over v x naught. And the question is, does that equal this at the same time, h minus 1 half g t squared final. So we have the same factor of minus one half g t squared final. The question boils down to whether this quantity is equal to that. How would I decide? Actually, I'll do that over here. So h over w should be equal to, here I have my initial velocity, it has a y component and it has an x component. So by similar triangles, h over w must be equal to vy naught over vx naught. So vy naught times w over vx naught, this whole thing is h. If the ball is launched aimed straight at where the monkey is, uh, broccoli is, then they will fall together and collide as long as the ball makes it that far. Okay?